children today we are going to find the derivative of exponential and logarithmic function the formula for differentiating exponential function has d to d by dx of e to the power x is equals to e to the power x let's see how we can calculate the derivative of exponential function say fx equals to e to the power x then f pl x plus h will be e to the power x plus h now applying l hospital rule f dash x equals to first principle sorry applying first principle f dash x equals to limit h tends to 0 e to the power x plus h minus e to the power x upon h now we can take e to the power x common from the numerator what will be left e to the power h minus 1 whole upon h now from algebra of limit we can apply separately limit to both the functions the limit h tends to 0 e to the power x into limit h tends to 0 e to the power h minus 1 upon h so here what we'll get e to the power x and this limit h tends to 0 e to the power x minus 1 e to the power h minus 1 whole upon h will be 1 so the result will be e to the power x so this way we can calculate the derivative of exponential function by first principle okay children note down let's see another derivative let's see another derivative d by dx of log x which is 1 upon x let's try to prove this derivative suppose the function is log x that means fx is equals to log x so fx plus h will be log x plus h now from the first principle formula is f dash x equals to limit h tends to 0 fx plus h minus fx upon h okay so limit h tends to 0 log x plus h minus log x whole upon h we know that the property of log log m minus log n equals to log m upon n so it, this will become log, limit h tends to 0 log x plus h upon x whole upon h now when x is divided in these both terms it will become 1 plus h upon x now what we'll do we'll divide by x in denominator divide and multiply so it will become h upon x into x now from here we can say that if the limit of h tends to 0 the limit h upon x will also move towards 0 so from here we can say that limit h upon x tends to 0 1 upon x from algebra of limit into limit h upon x into log 1 plus h upon x whole upon h upon x so this result will be 1 we know that limit h tends to 0 log 1 plus h upon h will be 1 we have studied in class 11 limits so this has value 1 upon x and this value will become 1 right so the derivative of the function will be f dash x will be 1 upon x that means d by dx of log x is 1 upon x right children note down please let's discuss few some children to understand the topic more clearly suppose the function is given as sine into log sine of log x and you have to find the derivative and we have to find the derivative of the function sine of log x so what we'll do we'll say that differentiating with respect to x d by dx of sine of log x okay so what we'll do we'll apply a chain rule in this differentiation we'll consider this log x as x and d by dx of sine x is cos x so it will become cos of log x now we have assumed this function as x so we'll again differentiate this function so d by dx of log x is 1 upon x so the answer will be 1 upon x cos log x right children see another sum here the question is find the derivative of e to the power sine inverse x so what we'll do we'll write differentiating with respect to x d by dx of sine inverse x now e, d by dx of e to the power x is e to the power x we have studied in the formula right children so d by dx of sine inverse x we again we applying the chain rule and assuming this sine inverse x x so d by dx of e to the power x is x e to the power x so this will be e to the power sine inverse x right and again we differentiating sine inverse x because we have assumed as sine inverse x as x right so d by dx of sine inverse x will be 1 upon under root 1 minus x square so the answer will be e to the power sine inverse x upon under root 1 minus x square right children understood note down please let's see another sum children now we have to calculate the derivative of the function log of log x base 7. Now here the base is not e, it is 7. 
Now to remove 7, we will take the help of this property log a base b when it is written. In, we can write this uh, logarithmic function as log a base c upon log b base c. So this way we can remove the base, we can convert the base from any constant to e, right? So d by dx of log x base, uh, log, x, log of log x base 7 will be d by dx. By applying this property, we can write this function as log of log x base c upon log of 7 base c, right? Now, if we have to, this is constant, okay? So it will come out and d by dx of log of log x. Again, we are going to apply the chain rule. We considering log x as x. So d by dx of log x is 1 upon x. So this will be 1 upon log 7 into 1 upon log x d by dx, whatever we have assumed, x here, log x. So we'll differentiate that term again, d by dx of log x. And d by dx of log x, we know it is 1 upon x. So the answer will be 1 upon x into log 7 into log x. Right, children? Remember the property of logarithmic.